What's going on guys? Gums here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. You guys might have saw in my update video or if you guys check the schedule, we are going to get monthly awards. The entire May Player of the Month program is going to be coming out on Thursday. It's going to be really big. And it's going to be a big stub making opportunity as well. So make sure and hit all the details that I'm going to talk about in this video. But of course, before we get into that, as always, make sure to leave a like down below. If you guys are enjoying the content, really does help me out helps the videos get out there with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet been putting out a lot of great tip videos we had our entire MLB the show 20 review yesterday uh, big video hopefully you guys check that out and uh, yeah that being said let's go ahead and get into this video so if you guys don't know the structure for the monthly awards if you guys didn't check out the April it is pretty simplistic and they're more than likely I would almost guarantee it to you they're going to follow it to a T because they've done the exact same things with all the player programs all the evolution programs all the inning programs all the prestige programs they all follow the same suit respective to that program and I expect the same thing for this so uh, the big thing that you're going to make stubs off of is the exchange now we saw that prices really catapulted up in price because that is simply uh the best way that you can possibly do this alongside moments it fits like it fits like a glove rather because the moment challenges if we were to look at this one uh the voucher is going to give you 15 the exchange gives you 10 nice simplistic gets you right there finishes the stage for you so a lot of people including myself ought to do the exchange and um, i'll just go ahead and show you guys for reference uh lou gehrig i noticed was a particular one that uh I exchanged, I think this was uh, for Ryan Zimmerman because he is a first baseman. Of course, you need to exchange first baseman or national players. And you guys can see Lou Gehrig's price went up by a ton. He went up to three and a half thousand. And that's usually skewed a bit. At first, when it does drop, it was even higher, closer to five thousand or even more. So prices do go up by a lot. So it's a great time to get prepared and get ready for what is to come. And uh, I went ahead and looked at everything that we could possibly see from the program do not invest in the uh remember because it's that teams you know if we get a oriole we're not going to see an oriole they never get player of the month cards because none of them are good enough to get them uh it's always that team or that position so uh if we were to get a J jonathan scope i guess it would be oriole players or second baseman the cards that are possibilities are going to be ross stripling he's the first one of course, as a starting pitcher in Los Angeles Dodger, and yes, it does um, it does differentiate between starting pitcher and other, uh, or at least we know for starting pitchers for sure, because when we saw Tyler Glass, no, that's how it was. Uh, so a starting pitcher, a shortstop in Brandon Crawford, a starting pitcher again in Brandon Woodruff, Derek Dietrich being a second baseman, Alex Wood a starting pitcher, Hector Neris a closing pitcher, and. Uh, I guess Rafael Devers was a diamond. These are all the diamonds throughout MLB The Show 17, 18, and 19. So anybody that is actually possible. And Devers literally has the same overall team affinity. So I'm going to say this card is not going to happen. Um, so we're looking at what we have left with is three starting pitchers, one reliever, a second baseman, a shortstop, or two Dodger players, a giant player, a Reds player, and a Philly player. That sounds weird to say uh, so those are the guys that you're going to want to invest in now how would I recommend that you guys go about this well it's really up to you. you you can do it by position basis or you can do it by a team basis I would more so recommend position but that's just me because there's a lot wider of options if you're to look at just for example uh, let's say the giant players uh, one there's no golds in there at all 
so it's a bit harder it's a bit harder to invest there is silvers but gold players are the ones i especially recommend because yes it wouldn't be ch it wouldn't be the cheapest to do the exchange but you have to think about the minds of people doing this including myself i'll admit it uh you want to get it done as fast as possible so you get the gold players that's what i did that's what a lot of people do and those are what really spikes in price it does happen to silvers too so it all depends on how you want to invest i prefer to go buy a position basis because if we were to look at like that for the giants compared to the short stops there is a lot more things that you can invest in so i would recommend just go to a filter max overall being at 84 overall uh it can be live series or it can be you know legends and flashbacks it does not really matter and start investing in these cards like i said short stop second baseman starting pitchers for sure relievers i'm not positive so i don't think you should necessarily do that and expect a hundred percent but i do think if they did differentiate between starting pitchers and not just have it be a catch-all pitchers for the tyler glass no exchange i think they're probably going to have relievers in there but we do not know for sure so i think short stops is something great to do and uh once again who is the best one i don't really know it really depends the higher overall really just look for a good deal think about exchange points being at uh on an overall basis so getting ozzy smith for 1.7 compared to a 83 for 1.4 doesn't make sense so go highest overall at the cheapest price that you can so andleton simmons would be a good one carlos correa would be a good one as well once again we don't know for sure who's going to be in here so the worst case scenario what could result in this is you sell them back for the exact same price that you did buy them for you know nothing's gonna happen they're not going to just drastically drop in price because this is the real true value of these cards that has been ever since they've started to deteriorate with the stage two team affinity so once again i reiterate starting pitchers is guaranteed being that there's three options there's definitely going to be a starting pitcher that we're going to see in there so that's pretty a surefire um thing that you guys can invest in and I would say uh, I'm pretty confident we're going to see either Brandon Crawford or Derek Dietrich or probably both because what I think they're going to have is two pitchers and then Dietrich and Carl Crawford. I would love, I boy would I ever love, Brandon Crawford, a much, much less exciting Crawford um, in the baseball universe. So uh, once again, I think you guys should really catch on to that. Uh, so that's going to be a big thing. Otherwise, to prepare, there's not really a whole bunch of things that you can do. I just want to quickly talk about it. Uh, you guys know the rest of the stuff within these. Uh, that's the way to make stubs. That's the way to prepare everything else you're going to have to do. Uh, when these cards come out you know because it is missions it is moments you can't do that in advance there's no way to possibly get any ahead of yourself for this program but like i said it is going to be the entire program they're going to be dropping uh so do ahead go ahead and do a wide spectrum don't put all your eggs in one basket do some in pitchers do some in second base do some in shortstop that's the best way to do it in my opinion and uh yeah so that program is going to be dropping on thursday so i know car prices are going to start going up as soon as i make this video i would try and get on this as soon as possible start investing in these cards and uh yeah that's what you're going to want to do as far as that goes i also do want to talk about something because i've seen a lot of questions about this i get tons of dms i get tons of comments the prices on live series diamonds what's the deal why are they so high when should i be doing collections should i sell my diamonds should i hold out hope what I would recommend is if you pull a Mike Trout right now, I would not sell him because I think there's a possibility we do get a stub sale on Memorial Day. That's what happened last time. I know we just got one, I think, a couple weeks back, but it makes sense on a holiday to do something like that. So I would say these cards are not going down anytime soon. If you look at the price trends, there is no evidence that would say that they are going down they're just continuing to go up if you guys watch my spending spree video i bought scherzer for i think 110 and now he's already up 15,000 on his sell now uh, sell now price trout continues to go up a bunch um the lower overalls not really anything's changing they're still remaining kind of the same price they're only going down if anything uh but definitely the higher overalls 
starting with pretty much just or starting with Cody Ballinger really uh, and going up everybody higher than Cody Ballinger uh, and Cody Ballinger gets pretty high if you guys have seen him he is one he's one fly individual um, so that is definitely saying something uh, so I would say if you pull any of these diamonds I would recommend holding off on them for a little bit because I think they still do have room to go up as far as why are they going up I've had some people try to explain it's because of the live series event. I really don't see that. Are you guys really going to spend 300,000 stubs to get Trout on your team for an event? Obviously, that's in the past now and cards haven't started to go down. So I don't think that's the reason. If you guys have any hypotheses why this is happening, I would love to hear your explanations because I truly have no, no idea how this is even possible. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, for me, I'm going to be quite a ways away from collections. I still have Trout, uh, Justin Verlander, and uh, the Cleveland Indians to do as well. So it's going to be well over five or close to 500k that I still have left to go. Probably going to have to pull Trout if I have any hopes of completing that program. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section. Who would you guys like to see in this program? I know I've covered this before. And uh, once again, these are the, op uh, the options for the Lightning Diamond in Verlander, Josh Bell, and Correa. And then, once again, make sure invest in second shortstop starting pitchers. I recommend doing the positions over the teams. And, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. There goes some Saudis.